What's going on, guys? You all want to play some PS5? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What? Ladies and gentlemen, my PlayStation 5 has stopped working. So I came home yesterday uh, after work. I went to GameStop. I went to go pick up Cyberpunk. I was super excited to play, getting everything all set up. I went to go turn on my PlayStation 5. You click the button. My little blue light turns on for a second. And then it just shuts right back on. No warning, no nothing. So I did what anybody would do. I immediately panicked and went to the internet. <laughs> um, checking on Sony's website. They already have multiple troubleshooting things for this because apparently it's been happening a lot. Um, yeah. So they take you through all these troubleshooting things, making sure you know, you're checking that the power cord isn't damaged or anything like that, uh, moving it around, trying different outlets in your house, trying different HDMIs, trying to boot your PS5 in safe mode and all this stuff and nothing. I, I tried just about everything and I was a little upset at some of their suggestions. Like, try another AC power adapter. Like if we just have these extra adapters lying around all over the place, and then when you go onto the actual thing, it's like, make sure you only use a Sony approved power adapter. What the, why? <laughs> um, so yeah. And then almost everything online, everybody was like, oh, I fixed it. I got the solution. I know what you're supposed to do. Everybody was like, just, just boot it in safe mode. You'll be, you'll be just fine. You push the power button, hold it for a couple of seconds and you'll be dandy, right? The problem is, your PS5 has to stay on long enough to load that safe mode. But my problem and what a lot of other people were having was that it just turns right off almost immediately. Doesn't matter if you hold the button, nothing. It's out, okay? Something has shorted the actual power brick inside of it or something. Uh, even though a lot of the forums online and stuff were suggesting, you know, you just have to call Sony uh, people were reporting like two hour long wait times, just waiting on hold to even speak to a Sony rep or anything like that. Uh, I, it was my only step. It was the only thing that was left. So I called Sony and surprisingly enough, they answered relatively quick. And I will say this, that the lady that did answer the phone and help me out, she was very kind, very helpful, very apologetic. Um, like I said, I believe this has just been happening to a lot of people and it's kind of one of those gambles you take uh, purchasing the first wave of a new generation console uh, but it doesn't make it any less heartbreaking <laughs> um, I've never had a launch edition console never okay I've built up my collection of gaming stuff and all the consoles throughout the years but I never had a brand new console right when it came out. So when I finally had the opportunity to get one, like this PS5 here, or like I'm still waiting on for the Xbox Series X, I want to jump on it. Because it's the first time I'm able to do so. Um, regardless of the warnings and stuff that people apparently so rightfully put out there. Um, I was reading things about like maybe some memory problems going on with the PS5, something about like rest mode and if you have this game running and you try and go back in from rest mode it just erases everything or whatnot. I can live with memory problems, right? But the fact that it just won't turn on, that just broke my heart. Um, so yeah. Basically, what ended up happening is that Sony's gonna send me a box that can take three to five days to get here. I send back the PS5 in said box. They hold on to it for however long the process is gonna take for them to either fix this one or replace it with one that will work and then them send it back to me. So, Lord knows how long that will take. I'm not expecting to get my PS5 back anytime soon, especially with the holidays coming with um, the mail system and everything like that. 
It'll take them years to sort this out. This is his, now it's yours. And this is hers, now it's his. <laughs> and for the rest of you, join in the I'm probably not going to get my PS5 back till after Christmas. If then. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate. I guess in the long run, uh, I'm a little relieved that it happened to me and not someone else. You know, I have a lot of friends, especially my younger friends, you know, they're having their first jobs, they've been saving their money to get this console for a long time, and they were able to get their hands on with them. So I would much rather my PS5 get bricked than any of theirs, uh, stuff like that. And any of you out there watching that have gotten your PS5 or getting a new console, I sincerely hope that you don't run into any of these problems and that if it does happen to you, just call right away, try and get it replaced as soon as possible. Um, Sony's aware that this is happening. I'm sure that they were aware it was going to happen. So they are prepared for the most part to be able to fix these kinds of things. I will say when I was talking to Sony Rip, however, um, she asked where I got the PlayStation 5 from and I would assume you would ask just to make sure I didn't like buy it from somebody in a Circle K parking lot. Um, but I told her Walmart and then she asked the very specific question like well did they ship it to you at home or did you get it at the store? And I told her well I, I, at the store it was the only option that they gave me. And she sounded kind of like oh as if the ones that they sent to the store they knew this was going to happen to kind of like a, oh yeah so I don't know if I should be more upset at Sony or at Walmart because as I told you guys in the unboxing this box came a little dinged up and that I was gonna go after Walmart if anything's wrong with this console Walmart I'm coming for you but yeah that's I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up about that um, super unfortunate I'm gonna have to play cyberpunk on my ps4 now like some kind of peasant <laughs> But we'll wait it out. Um, I'll send this guy in as soon as I get that box and I'll let you guys know um, how long it takes me to get everything back or if it even comes back really working. I'm thinking I want to put like a secret marking on it somewhere to see if they actually send me back the same one or just a replacement unit. Um, either way, the entire thing is super upsetting, super uh, disappointing that this happened. But you know, you live and you learn. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.